there, it's Kevin from RogueDeckBuilder.com, here with a sealed match, actually, switching things up. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. It is getting a pack rat in a four-pack sealed. The cool thing about four-pack sealed is you only have to use 30 cards. So I'm playing one pack rat and 29 lands, and here we go. So this is definitely not a keep, no pack rat, so we'll ship it back. Not a keep again, it'll ship it down to five, and let's do this. So there's there's two different ways to play pack rat. One one is just to swing it out there on on turn two and hope it doesn't get arrested or uh, killed by like electricery or something. The other way is to wait till five lands play it and then you can protect it. But I decide since he's white blue just to go out and throw the pack rat out second turn. Now you don't want to make the creature tokens until in response to them targeting your pack rat or say end of turn. Uh, you just don't want to make a, a token and then have somehow he can bounce something and kill your dude and then you're then you're you're done. So I'm not gonna block here of course, not even to create a token to show block, I don't care about damage, and end of turn we'll make that token. And again, I'm not gonna swing into like a patrol or any other flash like an avenging arrow. I'm just gonna sit back and wait till my pack rat army gets big, so we won't swing into anything. Once again the objective is to protect your pack rats. So in a turn, we will discard a card. Now I think that if you find your pack rat with a seven card hand or a six card hand, you can play your lands out until you have six lands, and that way you'll have a turn where you can discard two pack rat, uh, create two pack rat tokens. But if not, then you might as well just stay on the three lands and discard everything you draw. So here I will swing in because I'm not afraid of the patrol because I will kill the patrol, and avenging arrow doesn't hurt us that much anymore. So we'll swing in for 12. And it looks like he doesn't have an answer because he scoops here. So we'll go on to the next match. And I decide since I'm on the draw to switch it up. I actually had a really good deck. Uh, a lot of populate stuff, a stab wound, and a centaur healer. And, I'm, and so I, this is a good deck even without Packer. So I'm like, hell, I'll try it. We'll try the regular deck how it's supposed to work. But you'll get to see what a horrible player I am. So we'll lead off here with the Centaur's Her Herald, feeling good, even though we had a mole. Got all of our colors. Only playing 12 lands in here. Uh, throw out the Gatekeeper Vine, find another black source. Still feeling really good because we're thinning out our deck. He doesn't look like he's got his third color, but he does draw it, or a second color, and it, the healer comes out, which is okay. We will chump it next turn. And we got a healer of our own if we wanted to play it, but I decided just to get my tokens going. So go ahead and block here and sack the centaur healer. And he puts out a herald of his own and a tower drake. So we'll go ahead and throw our own healer out. And still feeling pretty good. I was hoping he was going to attack or actually not, that's next turn. Okay, so he swings in. I don't want to trade here, so I, I will get in. I probably should have attacked here. And, well, yeah, not not attacked here. Um, that's, that's the right move, is to just attack with my healer and force him to get that herald out. So next turn, I was hoping he attacks with everything, but he, he just goes ahead and only swings with the tower drake. And I decide oh, I'll keep my mana spent, so we'll just draw its deliverance here and populate a centaur. And then I make the worst call in my life. He's got all this mana on tap, so it could be an eye, eyes in the sky. It could be a uh, druid deliverance of his own. It's just horrible, horror move for me to attack here. And lo and behold, he's got the worst card possible. Basically, board wipes me and populates a creature of his own. So this is good game me on my my a noob part so he will swing in and I'll chump and I draw or he puts out another rune wing so his grove of the guardian is going to get huge next turn I don't really have an answer for it so I just decide to scoop and some people might disagree with that but I drew the cards anyway and I drew two more lands in a row I was I was so dead here so anyway that is game number two we'll go on to game number three I decide to switch back up to pack rat and look what I got Pack rat in the first hand, so and on the play, so we'll go out and, and throw a swamp out, pass the turn, and 
I like to see that forest so I can't get, you know, some nonsense bouncing my pack right or something. So the blue comes out, still in good shape. So we're we're good. This is our game here. I will decide just to start the token generation right now, get in for two. And start the beat down. So once again, now see with this hand I can play out my lands and have uh, a turn where I can discard two. So I will trade here, that's fine. I don't want him to start populate nonsense with like root bound defenses again and uh, druid deliverance or eye in the sky and then having as many centaur tokens as as many rats that I have. So we'll just get rid of that stupid centaur and still be at two, two rats, which is fine. Again, it doesn't look like I'm not afraid of anything here. I, Eyes in the sky doesn't do anything. A patrol doesn't do anything. Uh, so most likely we're going to get in here for some pretty good damage. Get in for six. And his turn again. And this turn, we have two activations. So he's actually dead on board unless he has something. Which it doesn't look like he does any skew. So that was round number one with our pack rat. We are now two. We are going on to round number two in this four pack sealed. And I will do it live. So thanks for watching, and I'll have the live game shortly.